Right, we're on. I'm just looking at strike on wedge today, just different ways to strike it. There's a lot of coaching I do, short game stuff, all different sort of stuff, and it all contradicts each other in a, in a, in a way, or people have mentioned that. And of course it does, because we learn different ways, there's different ways to do the same thing. Let's strike a few edges. I've got a 60 degree wedge here, and I'm really just trying to flop one up towards the flag, putting a little bit of loft on, and my main thought here is to get the back of the club to strike the ground. So this is trajectory, getting the ball up in the air, back of the club. Back of the club is this section here, that's front, we're looking at back of the club striking the ground, like so. So strike can be very very pure, it lets the club head past the hands when let the back of the club strike the ground, and I bruise the turf. There's no divot because the leading edge is not touching it. I just let the back of the club strike the ground. Gets a lot of loft. It's amazing how easy that is. Any lie, just concentrate on back of the club striking the ground. Maybe because some same every time. All of a sudden the focus of striking the golf ball is not the key. What we're after is the focus is purely on back of the club striking the ground instead of golf club striking the ball. Hit that one a little bit heavy, but yes, it was still back of the club striking the ground, so the outcome was okay. Had I hit that heavy with leading edge, then of course I'd have dobbed it. Chilly dip. Not thinking at all about turning the body, just thinking about back of the club, striking the ground, body's naturally turning through there. Put one in a divot, there we go, back of the club, striking the ground, balls up and out, there's another divot I'm in now, back of the club, striking the ground, came out a little hot, still fine though. So using the bounce, I've got a little big divot now, in there, back of the club, Striking the ground to get that out, and that's all just purely focusing on the back of that golf club. I'm not affected by the fact that there is uh, my balls in a divot, I'm just really focusing on getting the back of that club to strike the ground. Um, as soon as I start thinking about the fact the ball's in the divot, I'm going to do something different, there's going to be some form of inertia, I'm going to try and help the ball out of that divot. It's not what I want to do, I just want the back of the club to strike the ground. That way, leading edge is going to be below the equator of the golf ball, which is going to pop the ball up in the air. Simple, rather than thinking about the complexity of the shot, just get the back of the club to strike the ground, slap the ground. To get one going a little bit lower, we've talked in the past about forward shaft lean, which takes the loft off, and of course that is the case. Another good way to think about this. Another good way to think about this is this golf club has a centre of gravity in the middle of the golf face, in the club face. Okay, sweet spot, in here somewhere. Now that, being in the middle of the club or in here, if we can get that to cover the top of the golf ball, that's going to keep the ball down. So I think about the mass of the club, the centre of the club being a top of the golf ball, that's going to keep it down. I don't think about the forward shaft lean, I don't really concentrate that much on the leading edge, I'm just thinking about if I can get this section of the club over the top of the golf ball, hold on, look at that ball. Centre of the club over the top of the golf ball, that's what it feels like, that impact, that's going to keep the ball down. So as I come in, I'm not going underneath, I'm not using the back of the club on the ground, I'm feeling as though I've got the top of the golf ball, or the centre of the club coming over the top of the golf ball, like so, and that's what's keeping it down. That's a DX3. Two. So I just set myself up and think about how am I going to do that. There's a lot of manipulation of the hands, perhaps, or is it body turn, who cares? Just feel as though you get the top of the club the middle of the club over the top of the golf ball. That's me. <laughs> That's me get that low fizzy one. That's me get it checking up. If you're hitting a ball from 30 yards or so with this action, you're going to get really fizzing. Two different ways to play the shot. Let's do them both. Non-elevation, centre of gravity on top of the golf ball. Ball's nice and low. Ball up in the air, back of the club striking the ground. Boom. So low one then high one, low one, getting that centre of gravity on top of the golf ball, keeps it nice and low. Then the high one, using the back of the club to strike the ground. 
two very different trajectories. Just two simple thoughts. Yes, it contradicts some other stuff we've done in the past. Up in the air. But that's golf. That's golf. Everyone's got their own way of doing things. Let's just do that one out of the divot again. Let's have a wee freak out about that for a second. So the ball is clearly in the divot. My thought here is just getting back of the club to come down and strike the golf, strike the ground. So that puts the loft on. The club then glides across and up. There's no manipulation, no, no effort to help the ball up. Great shot. Again. Oh. In the divot, back of the club strikes the ground, gets the ball up. You can see I'm not taking any more divot, I'm just bruising the turf. The back of the club's bruising the turf. If I took one that's not in the divot, you can see the, the, the lie I have. And then I play the shot, you'll see I've not taken divot, I've just bruised the turf. There you go, so the back of the club's just bruised the turf. And that's what we do when we're in the divot. We're in there. There we go, that's just a way you can play those chip shots. There's no right, there's no wrong. Um, it's good to experiment with these sort of things. Guys, if you've not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Also, click the like button below and the wee bell button.